Well, 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 this is the party show coming to you again, once again, live on Plus TV. And we got a lot of videos to show, so we're going to talk a lot, you know, because um, we got a lot of videos for show, no? and um, who call a six six no text that's six six three five five one seven that is six six three five five one seven and then you know, go win some prize next week we got a lot of prize for you get away next week so just tune in right and um so the first thing when when i have to put in spanish right poquito poquito in spanish because a lot of people not talk english um voy a poner poquito in spanish porque usted no mucha gente no habla um english que si pero ahorita tiene bastante um, video pa 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 uso pa beno pero no va a hablar mucho solo poquito pero yo um, cuando usted quiera texta me a seis seis tres cinco cinco uno siete y cuando text más usted text tiene más tiempo para pa ganar para ganar más regalo all right and next week we're going to give away a lot of prize because christmas is christmas is close and we're going to have a prize to give away so we we'll just text in no calling next year in our January we'll be having live shows the live shows will be on Wednesdays all right now um last week we have um the let me have a little uh, street fest we call it street fest on Burns Avenue and it was so hype up man that you know and, and that but we have Sherry Medina who is the um a counselor and she in charge of a, a, a some kind of thing where she, she in charge about she explained to you know more about what happened out there today. And this, that was she got for say. We collaborated with the San Ignacio House of Culture and we're having the third annual street festival. And this contains a number of different local artisans from throughout the Twin Towns who are invited to come and display their work and at the same time put them on sale for anyone who's interested in buying. Um, this gives the opportunity also to the local musical artists um, in town to come out and display their talents, especially right now in the background you're hearing the Cold Day in May Band. That's one of our local bands in the Cayo district. And of course, uh, we have with us, we, earlier we had the Cayo Music School with Miss Catherine's Music School. And um, we also had Santos and Friends. People are excited to see the Ascension Band. They came all the way from Belize City. And they'll be performing. Remember, they were the winners for the Superstar Competition. So they're here to perform, and uh, Johnny and the Playmates, you know, they play those little old-time music. So they'll be here also. Um, we have a lot of people here from different parts of the country. The Grey Lady, who's, uh, I think she she works most of the time at the Tourist Village in Belize City. Um, she's here, and people can take pictures along with her. She's still here, and we have people who are selling the, the local DVDs um, from Belize, the Ish Dubai. So, um, the people out here today, there are a number of people out here visiting and they're they're really fascinated with what is out here this evening. All right, now we have some few, few, some few, few people here, you know, made a wrong attack thing about it, right? So, we have Miss uh, Miss Miriam, who is also a part of the um, Escobar movie. Boy, that lady can act, you know what I mean? And she, you know, she tell about like events like there what they, they could bring for the community, for the youths, you know what I mean? So she explained a, a little bit about it and this is what she got for say. This is how we fight crime, with positivity. Once we keep positive events like this happening, there is no doubt that crime will be reduced because it is activities like this that give people hope for a better future. With all that, the place will look so beautiful and I hope they have it maybe at least once a month, you know, out there, everything. And then we have some few vendors probably bring the, the, the local thing for sale, you know what I mean? And um, they have this man, Mr. Mr. Santiago, all the way from Bullet Tree. And uh, you know, he, he used, used to use loan, the loan thing, other coconut. But now the man 
improve upon the man Ghana get more things. So the man explain about himself and he tell a, a little more, you know, about how he start or whatever and who he. Well, my product, my product is the specific one, Kuhun Palm picture frames. And it's combined with mahogany, cedar, and other source of Belize wood. Well, as you know, every, every artist, every artisan has a history. And uh, my history is very long, but I started with making my friends very, very drastic. I mean, had very thick. And at the moment, well, nine, this started from 1995 until now. Well, we has a, we, I had to uh, modify it in our way where we sell most to the tourists. So it is more lighter, more convenient, and easy to pack. No, with all that, you know, with all, all the work we do, but you know, sometimes like, we know that, that, that not only here, but all around the world, business is not like before, business is slow. So I asked him, what he think about the business nowadays, if it's okay, he explained about the business. Check it out. When we started, it was not so good, but then we had some years in 1990, 1998, 2008, was good. But now everything has been collapsing. So the tourist is not purchasing much. We have several gift shops that closed down due to business. There's no money, no currency, but we're still surviving, you know, with the little that we make. We are not making much, really. Well, you know that a lot of men, they, they step up in their life for they get more things for do. But you know what? I don't want to know if um, you know if, if you think that business will be better or or, or bad in in the future. And and, and if I saw why 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 you think this will, will happen? Maybe if the bad things will, will happen or you know, he explained again um, about how people maybe they go buy things from different next country and come come, come, come sell it and then other than mark Billy's product. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Hear the man know. I think the the way how um, I'm seeing things is happening, it is very difficult for business to pick up very quickly. It will take a while. And um, another way where we have um, is that the especially gift shops who purchase local art continue to purchase, continue to support the local art and not purchasing from abroad, purchasing from Guatemala, Costa Rica, or Honduras. Then definitely that affects us a lot because then the the purchase in Guatemala and the label Belize. So we as Belizeans and had product 100% Belizean, then we cannot sell it because our price has to go a little bit high. But when they purchase over there, they purchase it for a low price where they can easily sell it to the tourists in a low price. Then they definitely sell with them. All right. Now they also have. Another person, a little vendor, they also miss um, um, Lilia, I think it's Lilia, Alamina, all right, she's on Belize today, and she explained what she do, you know what I mean, and talk a little, a little bit more about a business. We have a black coral and shells, that's what we work, and then we have um, stones. Okay. Well, when we have, when we have, because this is seasonal, right, so when the season is slow, it's, right now it's, the season is starting up now again, so it's picking up a little bit. But overall, like every year, it keeps going down. Well, the economy all around the world, and then the tourists, the type of tourists they're getting right now, they're not spending like they used to one time. Yeah. You know, so I think, I guess it has to do with the economy. I think we have to get more Belizeans involved to like, show, like, like these, these shows, I think it's good because then they get to know the local, you know what we do locally. Because a lot of um, Belizeans, they don't really appreciate it. They don't know it, you know. So when they see it, then they like it. Okay, now, Farah Dong we gone, and we have also this man, um, Kano, you know what I mean, Esteban Kano. And he explained about we can't judge what, what he do also, and you know, and he work mostly with stone. But this story he can for say. This one particular art piece, ah, uh, Depicts love. Uh, it, it have a couple rings. It have a pair of flowers on top kissing each other. And the ball symbolizes the world that we live in now. Uh, these materials, I get it in my neighborhood that I live in now. Because we have a lot of rocks. The, the nature how I begin working these is because um, I grew up a lot in the construction business and I learned that stones are easier to cut. 
the technology was only to get it polished. And um, growing up, I, I travel a lot of countries, so um, I learn a lot of different techniques. All right, talk about Mr. Kano, Esteban Kano, the man, man a good sculpture, sculpture, I call it, no? And, um, but you know that he explained about, like, about stone, you know? He mostly did also the stone. Uh, you know that, you think that maybe stone can't talk to you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, stone don't talk to you, but it, 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 the stone talk to you in a ship, you know what I mean? And, like, the, the, when you hold on one piece of rock or something, like, it tells something, right? And this, the way, it's a kind of half to say a boy stone. Every time you see one rock, the rock tells you what you should make from the rock. I never pick up a rock and make something out of my mind. I always see it in the rock first. Um, besides stones, well, uh, growing up in Belize City, I learned how to make a lot of shell work, black coral things. Um, I also, you know, recycle paper, plastics. I work twigs that fall off your tree. Anything in general, yeah.